Welcome to Nameless Debate Radio, where radioactivity is contagious. You can join us in broadening our minds on the Nameless Debates Discord via the link below, and even feature here yourself, if you've got what it takes. That's what I'm at. I'm going to bring the recording bots back, and I have to go soon. Uh, damn it, no, I want to hear what you thought of Midnight's opinion about utility. Yeah. Do you know I, dis- I disagree with Midnight's assessment of utility. Oh, uh, yeah, but I want but you to argue. I don't necessarily. I disagree with his answer to your question, but I I think you guys were talking past each other. I don't know. If oh, I know. agree, but I want, I want to see where you can get with it. That's what I want. You, you just want me to get toasted on recording. I get it. No, like, I, like no, I, not I you. With your, not you. Like, you were fundamentally asking and answering different questions. Like, yeah. so let, let's just go to the map, Like, right? So let's just say, like, I want to circumnavigate Australia and I have a map of Australia. That's incredibly useful to circumnavigating Australia and it's incredibly useful to getting around Australia, right? But if I'm not getting around Australia, sure, it's not useful. It's not useful to getting around my house. However, it will remain useful to getting around Australia whether or not I'm getting around Australia, right? It is useful for that task independently of me. I have a question for you, Julius. And that's that's the that's that's the talking pass bit that like solves it. What? That's fair. Which uh, it means, Z- which means I Zark have a car, yes. Zark has a car, why? Not a van? No, we, on, we have a Ford and, territory. And you, call, and you call yourself a pragmatist. We have a Ford territory. I don't like Like you. a wagon sort of thing. Like a... Yeah, like there are, like it, it has seven seats, dude. So yeah, we Okay, it, fine. Okay, that counts. <laughs> yeah, it we needed a car. Our goals were can it fit seven seven people at once? The answer is yes. I think you mean you asked yourself what's the most useful car? No, what's the most useful car to our living situation and Zark's business? I mean, I included That's that. also the most reliable. I, I included that in the idea yeah. of utility. Perhaps sure. you can consider like, like all these things were factored in. Yeah. And the most reasonable decision. You could say that um, utility is relative to our goals. That would also be acceptable for me. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure you are relative, but yeah, utility is goal orientated. Is probably a simpler way to say it. Okay, yeah, sure. Orientated. Like it's not, so, like also fine. yeah, it's val- well, it's it's orientated to what your goals are. Hmm. But, but, but um, whether what or you not said originally, is useful. utility and goals, like they're separate. There's the relation well, yeah, yeah. that was just described, but there is that separation. Whether, yeah, whether okay, no, no, listen, no listen, one. Listen, listen, okay, wait. I just need to clear something up. Right of response, right? No one is arguing that literally goals are utility. Like just they, they literally yeah, just the are the same is... thing. No. Yeah, but that's how you seem to define it as. That's the, honestly not what I believe, and you should have been able to guess that. Do you really think you that couldn't. I believe that goals and utility are identical? I couldn't. In sync, couldn't. I, I mean, know. I think. I think. I understood is, both sides. I suspected I, it, right? But I didn't like. I said I that. Didn't like just assume. Okay, I mean. Okay, just then I'll clarify that, right? What we mean by utility is going to, like, as goal, I just put it, it's goal oriented, right? So when we talk about you, when we talk about any instance, we should call it an instance of utility. Yes, and then wait, 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 wait. You just of did, utility. You just then did. that instance of utility would be defined by would would depend on and and other things, but depend on your goals okay, at so, that instance of time. Yes. Yeah, so now what I'm trying to look, to put my position better, right? I'm mm-hmm. saying like, um. <clears throat> If we agree that instances of utility are goal-oriented, right, then Mm -hmm. whether or not a particular strategy is useful for a particular goal um, is a fact whether or not you have the goal at any point. Right? It's, It's corresponding to the goal if you had it, right? Then certain things would be useful and other things wouldn't. And the fact of that utility isn't based on whether or not you have the goal. It's based on, in principle, what would help you towards the goal. Yeah, utility is always what is, in principle, what would help you towards the goal. No, but there, that's that's what I said. That's what I said the general definition was. I said, if, that's how I think we determine but things when we work. say when we say in principle, right, it's got to be in principle within the cognition of that particular person right so if you don't if you sit around and you say if if, like i said utility is dependent on goals and what's implied in there is that they're subjective right so if you sit around and you honestly in your head do not see how maps are going to help you circumnavigate the planet then for you in particular 
that map genuinely has no such utility. Uh, okay, yeah, so this, this, this is where we disagree, midnight. Because, mm. um, what a person thinks, and this is where, um, so utility subject. There's only there's only one there's only one comparison I can pull here, and you're probably not going to like it. Um, okay, whether or not you personally think it's going to help you circumnavigate the globe, like that, so it might not help you circumnavigate the road because you're a retard, but like the fact of the matter is, is that, that like that is the most useful thing to help you circumnavigate the globe or circumnavigate like whatever, right? It is the most useful thing, and that is actually it, independent of you. So and, I think there's a and to argue otherwise is kind of to argue some kind of idealism. No, I'm not sure about that. I think there's a... So this goes into my little rant about errors in philosophy. There's something called a God's eye view, right? And a lot of philosophers use it. The God's eye view is, if there was someone sufficiently informed, what would they think or do, right? I mean, compare things to that. So, you know, if you take a bird's eye view, if you want, that's the better, that's a less charged version of the same thing. But yeah, from the God's eye view, yes, maps have utility to something that are getting planet. However, none of us are such. We're all humans, sure. and we all evaluate the world personally. No yeah, one actually do, sits you know, in that position. But even if we evaluate the world personally, some of us evaluate it better than others. Um, I'm going to extend the map analogy to my only wait, to when my you favorite say better stolen, than, um, to you my favorite the concept analogy. of utility. Wait, also, when, when you, you say the better than, then, then wait, yeah. yeah well, what I mean is like thing. better than, like more in more adherence to utility. That's what I mean by better than, right? Please um, don't talk over each other, guys. So, so if so, like the analogy is, um, and this is borrowed. So if there's reality, and then there's what we think reality is, right? Let's just say there's a thousand facts that make up reality. The more of those facts that I understand, the better I'm going to be able to operate within that reality, right? Yes. So what I'm yeah, saying that's, is, the, that's the uh, that's that's the entire argument. Yeah, and, and I'm saying so that if that you don't think is, the map is, that means one of your facts about reality is wrong. If you don't think the map is going to help circumnavigate, right. fine, you can think that, but you're wrong. Right. I'm saying the only reason that argument works is because you and me already agree that maps are the best way to circumnavigate. That's why that argument works, right? But well, no, say, it, works, say, it works because it accurately maps to reality. Say yeah, I was wait, trying... wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doesn't it? It's like the argument I make with the airplane, right? It mm -hmm. doesn't. It doesn't. It's not like the airplane is better at flying because we agree that that's what it does, right? It's like airplanes are actually better than cardboard boxes for achieving the goal of flying and, in a, in a sense that is not dependent on your perception of it. And it's, just to note, this isn't even my argument. This is something I stole from Matt Dillahunty, and I'm pretty sure he stole it from someone else. So I'm not like trying yeah. to make. I'm not some like esoteric no, know, philosopher yeah. at midnight. No, no, I know you're not trying to make an esoteric philosophy argument, but I think that these are. I do. I do think these are mistaken. He's a layman as so, well, by the way. You only will notice that it is mistaken when you're toying someone who doesn't make the same assumptions. Between you and me, we both agree that planes are better in cardboard boxes, right? To us, it's obvious. To us. It's so obvious that it might not even be intersubjective. I look it at might be, wait, hang on. I'm going somewhere with this, right? There's a degree to which, and this is why I disagree with your views on intersubjectivity, right? I think that sometimes if you have a group of people, they don't just agree that something is intersubjectively beautiful. They actually get the sense that there's something objectively beautiful about something. So if you get a large enough crowd, right? Everyone points at it. Everyone agrees it's beautiful. You get the impression that this is not just intersubjective anymore. Right? There's something more, right? And this goes is, true for any kind of statement. No, the, the question, though, is: Is there actually something more? And your stance currently is no. No, no, my stance is a little bit more nuanced than no, right? My stance is: I'm a realist. I've said this. Before. I should always maybe preface these things. I am a realist. I am I'm actually wait. Yeah, hang on. I'm a realist I am too, actually an, in. Yeah, yeah, I am weird, actually. Right? Yeah, that's. The, but it is important. Maybe it's just important for me to preface. Right. I am actually a realist. I'm an indirect realist. I mean to say that there is a real world and it has a particular representation in our minds. That's Tom, not real. No, right? that's that's that indirect is, realism. Look it no, up. No, it's not. Look that's it called up. transcendental idealism. Look, you, no, it's not. No, it Look is. It you up. just appeal. You just appealed to the idea that it has. Do you a want me to pull a dictionary definition for you? Dude, you just appealed to Fine. the idea that it has a representation in our mind. No. Does in the world have? In, no, does the world have a determinate nature apart from your representation of it? I okay. guess I'm. I'm guessing no. like a more because simple that part. Is part of indirect realism. Listen. Materialism. Listen. Hear me out in sync and don't jump. It's not a gotcha. You didn't get me, right? I'm an indirect realist because what I'm saying is that every, all of what you have in your experience 
is the consequence of something objective, right? Yes. You have a subjective experience of an objective world. Yes, I had a question right? about that. Does the objective world have a determinate nature? What do you mean by determinate nature? What's that mean? It is a certain way. What else could it mean to say it's objective? I, when I say objective, I mean is a certain. Okay, so what? if it is if it is a certain way, right? Then, yes. then the reason, right, that we were appealing to before for utility working is that it corresponds to the way things actually are. Right? How else do you explain it? Okay, it look, look I don't know. I get where you're coming from, right? And it's something that I'm undecided on, right? It's actually something I'm undecided on. Okay. Because I'm on the side, I'm going to express on. All right. Yeah, well, when, when it comes to when it comes to something like the theory of gravity, I'm yet undecided on whether it is the case that gravity is a literally objective thing, oh, no, or asking... it is a model. No, but listen, I'm not it. asking about the specific, right? So it's the difference between the instance that we we're talking about. No, no, I, I, I can only think in instances. Consider me an Aristotelian thinker. <sighs> Right? You cannot asking, use generalities. No, I'm not asking about whether gravity maps reality, right? I'm asking about whether science, right, maps mm -hmm. reality at all. Right? Do so you think that I'm about? okay? Mapping is going to be different to me to a one to one representation. Understand? I'm not saying one to one. Does it, does it correspond in any sense? Correspond is a one to one thing. No, it's not. It is. Well, it I mean, isn't. I'm using, I'm, I'm thinking of the mathematical version, right? If two figures are. If two triangles correspond, why then they do, are the same triangle. Think, why do you right? think we have the term one to one? That correspond, doesn't mean... correspond is defined as have a close similarity, match or agree almost exactly. It is yeah, not okay. the same thing. So do I think that science is almost exactly the real No. It doesn't explain ninety seven percent. Does it have a close mass. similarity? Does does science have a similarity to the world? Does it have any similarity to the world? Absolutely. Does is, it have is, a close similarity? No. Is the distinguishing factor between scientific models and other models, let's say rationalist models, that it has a closer similarity to the world? It has a closer similarity to the world than anything else. Excellent. Excellent. However, however, is it actually close? Hell if I know. I'm I, not I a don't problem. care. I don't care. The point is you agree it's closer than anything else. That's yes. all I'm appealing to. I'm saying utility, which is something that comes out of the scientific method primarily, right? The fact of things working is to do with our models corresponding somewhat with what is true. Otherwise, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Sure. Okay, well then I guess we agree. We agree, yeah, on that point, sure. That's why I'm a realist, right? So take instrumentalism, right? I've argued that while instrumentalism itself a non-realist position, it's not an anti-realist position, people make that mistake. It's a non-realist position. You can still ask a question. Even though a theory is practical and pragmatic, you still ask the question, why does it work? And if it works, you realize you're not truly a pragmatist. You're actually a realist. Okay, you're saying okay. that at some level, the theory isn't just pure utility. It's actually descriptive. Wait, no, but right? I, I know. Do you understand that the answer to the question of how does utility work in general is that how does wait how does utility work is not i don't think it's a and now i don't think it's analogous to how with a science corresponds right does okay, no, 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 but correspond? listen, listen i'm saying i'm saying i think that those answers are commensurate i'm saying i'm not saying they are i'm saying they are okay, rather okay, I'll, rather i don't I'll, see how that i wasn't is. i wasn't done talking there right i think the point is that when we say science corresponds to reality, mm. what we are saying in principle is that the way that scientific models work is through that correspondence, and that any utility derived from scientific models must derive its utility, must de okay. sorry, must derive its capacity to be useful from the fact of correspondence. That's the only place it could come. Okay, so I would only point to you to genuine theories in the philosophy of science, right? Instrumentalism is the view that science works. It's considered a non-realist position because it says nothing thereof. Okay. It doesn't say how it works, right? There's no statement at all on how it works. That's why it's considered non-realist, no, not anti-realist. No, but listen, right? you should be aware that it is a big enough point. rule to that's be worth point. considering. The point is right? we agreed about something, right? No, 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 no. Wait, hang on. You're saying I think you're making a couple of arguments that are not connected in the way that they should be. Okay, but let me right? make the argument that they're connected before you say they're not. So we agreed okay. about something, and what we agreed about was that science corresponds somehow with what's true, right? 
And I'm saying, right, the question I asked you that you didn't know how to answer is answered the same way, right? You said you didn't have an answer, that you think that the question doesn't even merit solving. You've said that before, right? How does utility work in general? The how, is, wait, how does utility work is easy to answer, and I've kept answering it, but you, you seem to just you, play you, you, no, dumb never about said, it. You've right? never said how does Wait, how does utility work? Utility doesn't have to do with the correspondence theory of fruit. It doesn't, it does. right? Utility is under the pragmatic theory of fruit. You're finally acting, no, and no, I, I'm, I'm asking, be, but I'm you want to act like the pragmatic theory of fruit is how, correspondence theory. No, of fruit, I'm says, asking. Okay, listen to that. me. I'm asking. How does the pragmatic theory of truth apply to the world? Right? And the answer you keep missing, and I don't know why you do it. Right? Is a pragmatic theory of truth simply doesn't answer that question no but that's right it's considered a minimum i agree with that position. that's not the point the point is you are admitting then it's left blank a left no, blank no, but doesn't yes mean you're, you're leaving it blank and i'm saying something you already agreed to is the non-blank version of the answer which is that the way that utility functions is by but, inheriting truth no it's not the way utility okay so i it's nuances in the words right I'm not saying, I, one thing I'm disagreeing with, utility itself doesn't work because it corresponds. I'm saying that the theory itself is working because it corresponds. That, yeah, it, it, has, it has, wait, look, if, you, consider this, you consider it like this, right? I'm, saying, no the theory, I'm saying that every theory can be considered to have two facets, at least two, right? And you consider it in terms of how useful it is okay. and how accurate it is, right? Uh, yeah, accuracy, speaks okay. to, wait, accuracy speaks to cor how well it corresponds. Right, so and utility speaks to how useful, right? Newtonian no. physics, useful. Utility. Wait a minute. Accurate. You accu no. Wait, wait. You said accuracy refers to correspondence, and yeah. then you and then you circularly defined utility. You said utility refers to utility. Please use a different word. No, it's it's not that I have to use a different word. That's it. it, it, is. it, it that's that's no, no, its term. No, wait. Have hang on. Been asked, have you ever been asked to define a word in English? You're not allowed to use the word you're being asked to define. Okay. It's not have I said that you have I actually said utility is utility? Yeah, you did. You I'm said saying. utility is what's useful. That no, is what, wait. When you look at look in a dictionary, you want to grandstand this, then grandstand. It doesn't say what's useful. Right? When I look at a dictionary, you can actually find words that are defined in this manner, and no, all that matters is that they don't use the word itself, right? Utility will will often be defined with the word use appearing in the definition. You're no, acting as if you've discovered this for the first time in, what, 20-plus no. years why don't of you life? Use, why don't you use some words that aren't so close to utility itself? And why do I have to use words that are distant? Because if you use something that is proximate but less similar than useful and utility, right, then you might give us additional so information you, about what okay. the words. I'm Those two are too close. I'm asking. Okay, about... you, believe it's, you, you believe it is reasonable to ask that words in English are defined by distant words. Oh, I said proximal, not distal. No, no, no. You're I'm asking not. for them to be distant. No, I'm not. Prox okay, the opposite of proximal. No, I'm distant. not. Distal is the opposite of proximal. And I That's asked, what I just said. I asked for proximal <laughs> examples <laughs> that, that were not useful. Right? You can't what? use the word useful. That's the one I'm excluding. Use other proximal examples. You think what? You think that's the only synonym? Fucking come on, dude. I'm saying like that's that... a drop I would cut right there. Like you, you think that's a fucking synonym? Come on, dude. <laughs> I know, right? I'm, I, all I'm gonna say is, <laughs> okay, just basic English. The opposite to proximate is distal, right? This is an anatomical term, right? If you're, if you're complaining, if you're complaining that I'm defining utility in terms of proximal, no, that's not words, my complaint. Then you're that's not asking. My not my complaint. What was your complaint? My complaint was you defined utility with regards to another word, which is included in the question I'm asking, right? I think those two words are basically the same. I think useful I think... and utility are the same thing for the purposes of my question. I'm asking about the concept of how something can be useful, which is the notion of generalized utility, right? And so when you say what is you what utility is No, how something can be something. So how is what? it if you're, if you're asking a question, 
I, I don't. You're just not. I don't know how to get it across. I'm you. asking about just the not. nature of the general category. But you're oh, not, though. You're wait. asking me about how a theory works. How does it work? It no, I'm asking how do how... theories work in general. If you say a theory works because it corresponds, I'm saying do all theories work because they correspond? I think the answer is yes, which makes the general criterion for working or utility correspondence. No. Listen carefully. Just I want you to focus on every single word I'm saying because I do actually pick them. How something works is different to that it does work. Mm -hmm. Now every single word in there I actually chose. Not but wait a single second. one. When you was say works, isn't that implying that it actually it did or it was working? Like yeah, how it. How I'm just it saying works. that how it. So that it works is a yes no question, right? Um, how it listen, works. Listen, is listen to my word. Listen to my words. How is it the case that it can work? Because the theory corresponds to reality. That's easy, okay, so right? Okay, there. Correspondence. But, okay, wait, wait. Hang on. So if I oh, ask, shit, he got you. <laughs> no, you gotta listen. You got to listen to me, right? And I don't mind the correspondence here, um, theory of truth, right? I've I've shifted over time to saying that. All the skeptical arguments are fun and games. I don't, I don't but even know what you Wait, hang on. Okay. Every single time you tell me correspondence, right, you are telling me that the answer to the question I originally asked you is something you knew. <sighs> you're just not connecting those in pieces. No, of I don't think you're catching the words. And I want you to just slow down and listen. Well, does it work? Like wait, wait. Does it work is a yes or no question. Yeah. How does, does it work? work? How does it work? When you put the word how in here, you're not asking the same question. You can okay. feel like you're asking the same question. It's not, right? I, so I if you ask, ask me, wait. If I you ask me a question, work. wait. If you ask me a question, how does science work? Because it corresponds to reality. Does it work? I didn't yes, but here's work. the empirical evidence that it works, right? I, if I, I, if I, I want to demonstrate to why you, why are you bringing work? up "does it work"? I never used that question. That's but utility for me is in the "does it work" part of the question, not how does it work. How That's does it work? Is it, wait, how does it work is an explanation of why it is the case that scientific theories work, but I'm which is going to be. To explain wait, the wait, 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 wait. You just said it's it an works. explanation. Yeah. How does something work is an explanation. It's perfect encyclopedias. You know, this thing works, you know, these nuclear reactions work because blah, blah, blah. And implied in there is a sense of realism and that these are. It's, you implied know, in there is a sense of proof. Yeah. Yeah. And so on, right? But is it useful? That's actually a separate set of questions, right? When did I Use, ask, is, is it, it useful? useful? No, is it useful? Are you going to equate use with utility? Yeah, usefulness is utility, that kind of deal, right? I asked how, That's how. how. I didn't ask is. Yeah, the how, the how question. No, right? but why? How? Explain, no, explain this to me. Why are you bringing up, <laughs> is it useful? How is that pertinent? I never asked anything of the sort. No, no, no. You keep asking i'm not sure how to phrase it just yet i'm going to get there eventually it's glacial i'm sorry right i just can't pick the right words yet I'm on the, it's on the tip of my tongue can't pick the words i'm just saying this right if you're asking me how do the scientific theories work at all like you know say you okay we'll pretend for a moment you're Dart dawkins how does yeah. science work he asks me i say because it turns out that the real world exists and is governed by natural laws. And then yes. that scientists are slowly getting there over time, yeah, right? Well, well, look, and that's what I'm saying. That's how they work, right? Well, if you ask me, to... are they useful? I'm like, well, usability comes down to the wait applications, minute, right? Wait minute, wait minute. So no, Newtonian question, physics is really useful. The um, question I'd I say, asked you originally, right? How does utility work? Is closer to the former than the latter. It's not. I, I. That's where we disagree. That's the fun part. Wait, didn't right? you start off the sentence re referencing Dark Do Darth Dawkins with because when he asked you like how? Or how, <laughs> what did you say? How? Well, yeah, 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 he yeah, he, he he'll generally ask a question. Um, he's will sometimes ask something close to what instincts asking, which is like, if the sciences work, if you think they work, if you think your theories no, but you you, count had, for like something, a, you had a caustic reply that like a sarcastic reply like that included a word oh yeah, I give I give a caustic reply yeah, but that, that word means a lot at the very beginning like hmm. oh of course I give caustic replies to Dot Dawkins all the time <laughs> oh no I give caustic replies to Dot Dawkins all the time I love doing it it's fun I I shouldn't I'm not saying it's good. I'm not going to encourage anyone to give caustic replies to Dart Dawkins. You should treat him like a human being, not the way I do.
But uh, yeah, you um, treat him as good as he treats you. Hey. <laughs> I uh, I'm not a role model. Don't don't copy what I do. I do bad things. Um, that aside, this this kind of a gulf here, right? There's there's the idea of whether a scientific theory or any idea or belief is functional. It has utility. Utility is function. It's usability. It's workability. Okay, it's listen, listen. Stuff, it's not. Right? I, look, I, I accept your explanation at this point. You are wrong about the idea that asking how does science work is closer to asking does science work than it is to ask. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm splitting what utility is as something separate. To I the, don't, I don't think the um, self-referential version matters. That seems. No, no, no. I don't. I'm not. I'm okay. Sorry. Let me put this differently. I'm not trying to try and convince you. I'm speaking to the audience. I'm putting the point that utility is actually something separate to truthfulness of something or the I truthiness that, of a theory, obviously. right? So the utility of a theory will be determined by the ends to which we can put it, right? Um, the more That's ends you can, I... the more ends to which you can put that theory or belief, the more yes, useful it is. Obviously, right? that's part of utility. I didn't However, just... in terms of, is it actually true? That's going to have a different measure. The, the yeah, measure of whether it's true or not will be know. down to how well it corresponds. You a can... good surrogate for it, a good surrogate for truth, I would argue, is that your theory, um, when you are going about using it, makes predictions that you find are validated often. Okay. Well, look, hmm? um, I think my closing statement is just going to be that I think it's completely <laughs> impermissible in a, a di in a dialectic or a debate to reframe my argument in words that I don't consent to. You keep saying that my argument, my question specifically, is closer to what you think it is than what I think it is. And that, in it seems preposterous. How would you know what I'm asking? I'm not, telling, I'm not saying I know what you're asking. I'm saying what I think utility means. You keep thinking no, I'm reframing things. Care. I'm no, not no, 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 no. You're saying my question is closer to is it useful than it is to how is you're fixating on that. I'm saying that utility is different to accuracy. Yeah, I don't care. Right? I agree with that. I agree with that. Where we disagreed <laughs> was the thing that I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on where we started, right? And what we're disagreeing on is what utility means. And I'm saying it's not really the same thing as accuracy. Does that it make sense? Like in sync, I didn't does, say wait, in sync, exactly. in sync, are you disagreeing that you guys are even starting from the same like point because he's using a certain word or a phrase or like? No. So the issue was um, mm -hmm. that I asked him a question which he told me he couldn't answer. At this point, he's given me an answer, but he's repeatedly told me that the answer he's given me doesn't belong to the question I asked him, which seems did, ridiculous. I don't. Did he, did he do this without your consent? Well, I mean, I don't think my, my consent matters. The question I, I asked him was <coughs> related to what, how utility in general works, right? And he told me that he couldn't give an answer to that. No, you're, you, so you'd be asking about how does a theory... So utility is... No, I'm not asking about how a theory works. I'm asking how is it the case that okay, theories maybe can, I can give you work? Maybe I can give you a unique... Okay, so forget what I've said in the past. I can give you a different approach to think things, right? When you ask me something, right, like um, where is redness, I say it's nowhere unless you have at least one object that is red, right? Redness isn't something that can be ripped away from things. <laughs> and utility what is red. Yeah, utility is the same. You can't actually rip it away from uh, all yeah. theories and talk about it in the abstract. It only yeah, makes sense in its instantiations. I don't think that that makes any sense at all. I think obviously color makes sense apart from the instantiations of color. No, well, not everybody sees colors the same way. Actually, color doesn't yeah, exist at the molecular level point, either, point, like in physics is, or science. Well, okay, so color corresponds clearly to wavelengths of light, even though it doesn't. Right, but not directly. directly no it doesn't directly. No, it's the way that the, the, the light is reflected, dude. Sure, yeah, you're reflected. No, but light, the, okay, the wavelength of the light matters, though. <laughs> when it reaches your light, eyes, yeah. the wavelength of the light, light matters. When it reaches your eyes. Oh, yeah, it matters. I agree, right? Yes, the light that reaches your eye matters. And I that's what that. I mean by however, correspond. It's involved in the equation. However, I'm saying you can't rip the concept of red away from all known objects and talk about it in the abstract as the That's because red is an instance. You can rip the concept of color away from any specific color and discuss the oh, notion of color. I'm not sure I agree with that. If, Dude, I, I, rip, if I rip I out all instances of color. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. Actually, 
how would you well, explain well, color exactly, to me? I have no idea what color is. That's exactly what we're trying to do when I say, for instance, color is a correspond, corresponds to the wavelengths of light, and you say, no, it doesn't. You no, are it, reco- it doesn't, dude. It corresponds no, to the where, reflective. There, there. The reflective. Boom, there, there, you're saying, when I say color, and you correct me, you are presupposing my conclusion that there is such a, an abstract category as color that has characteristics, right? Because you corrected me about them. Yes, but he's thinking of, he's thinking of, and I'm thinking about this, like, I'm thinking yeah, he's about, thinking of like, specific insatiations. Yeah. Well, I, no, he's, but thinking, he's not thinking, he's not thinking about, thinking about matter. Color. Like, it's a reflection, and that's not the actual yes. matter. Then. No, but you're thinking about color in general, not a specific color. No, no. You, you but didn't that... have to refer to red in order to come to your conclusion. Okay, so I'm not, so Ensek, I've told you this before. Do you know what stance <laughs> it is that I call you that I am not? Do you know which one of them? Whoa, she has a lot whoa. of things I call you. Shit. She can shoot off again. Okay, I'm not a platonist, right? So for me, universals don't make sense until you've met some individuals. Sure, that I know, them, I know right? you've said that before. And, and so when it, when we talk about color, right? We can only ever have this conversation if it is first the case that we have seen different colors. Yeah, I think if you true. have never seen colors, this conversation would make no sense whatsoever. You just sit there and be like, I'm blind. Yeah. What the I fuck are you talking about? I don't care if it makes sense to people. Why are you guys arguing about red? The question is whether or not the category exists, not about whether or not it's intelligent. The category exists to the people who've met the individuals. No, I reject that idea. I think the category is ontological. <laughs> ontological? That hardly matters. If you're blind, what? Like, it, it redness. No, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. What's, if what's not, true is what's the case independent if not, of the subject. Whether or if not, not knows about it is not part of whether or not it's true. No, that's, I disagree. If no one knows about something, that thing it like that's what? just completely false. If there are if there are dinosaur bones in the ground and mm-hmm. nobody knows they're there, are they still there? Before not you to, no, wait, no, not no, 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 I don't care about that. Ooh. Don't say Can two. you stop? Don't say stop. Two. Stop. I, no, stop. Wait, Come on, Insane. Let me answer. Let me answer that. No, you have to answer the question not, I'm asking. Listen, yeah, I'm answering. I'm answering. It, I'm are answering. they in the ground in a sense that isn't related Can to I a answer the question subject? or not? Can as long as just... you don't relate it to subjectivity, yes. <laughs> not to anyone who's alive at that point in time. That, you just related to subjectivity. I had to. It you didn't, didn't have to. Look, I didn't. I to asked whom? you okay, not wait. to. To whom? Okay, to whom in your example is answering the question? No one I, on the planet I'm knows it's there. I'm asking you to fair. evaluate it in I reject that. In idea. principle, I'm not God. You keep assuming <laughs> that I'm omniscient. I don't, I don't give a shit about that. Dude, you, know, you guys argue it's whether, like a couple fights. I know, it really not, is. It's listen, it's great. I love these listen, fights. Listen, I don't hate insane. Listen, listen. <laughs> whether or not it's there is a matter of ontology. It is not a matter no, of I'm epistemology. Say, okay, I'm saying this, right? You need to get what I'm saying because the nuance here matters, right? If there is... So, okay, say so there's a small d- teapot in orbit around Saturn and no one knows about it. No one knows about it. Like, so, I can repeat uh, that last line. No one so, knows about it. Yes, yeah, so for the purposes of discussion, it doesn't exist. But does it ontologically exist? No if, one knows about it. It doesn't matter I need to repeat that last line. No it one knows about it. That so doesn't it, matter. The only being that knows about it is, like I said, if, and I tell, and I tell you, this is like a, it's like, an, it's, like a thing that, it's like a thing that happens in philosophy that I disdain. What you're doing is you're saying, no one knows about it, but you do. I told you. No, that's not and what I'm like, saying. Well, I do that's know about it. Saying. Thank you. You I'm told saying, me. I'm, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying truth, by definition, is not predicated upon what we know about it. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm saying about what we you know are. and do not know. You cannot you know something. No, I'm asking whether or not you... something's the case. Listen to me. If the bones are actually in the ground, isn't based on what you know. It's based you told on... me that they are. Okay, wait. Let, ask me a question. No, again. I now no, have a... it's... I now have a better answer. Go on. Ask. Oh, my God. I have yeah. a good answer. There are some bones in the ground, right? Yep. Nobody knows that they're there. Nobody. Not even you, right? I know about them. You just told me. For fuck's sake. You just told me. The point you told is me the bones are in the ground. I know that they are. I can't I'm remember. asking oh, you. Oh, my God. The you point told is, me that they're in the ground. Not, yeah, and you're being obstinate. You're avoiding the point of my example. The point of the example is to assess the object permanence of things that nobody knows about. Your conception... I know about it. You told me about it. No, but listen, your conception... You want to try me an example where you don't tell me about what's on the ground? Your conception of existence is basically the idea 
that when people do not know about things, they're not even there. That is absurd. No, wrong, wrong. And I, I'm all about nuances, and I hate when people don't listen, right? I listen nuance, to- nuance, right? When we don't know what's there, we are don't know what's there. Who cares? That's that it. Is no, no, no. Hang on. That's it vacuous. sounds vacuous, but it's it an answer to the vacuous. question you keep asking. No, if you tell me, answer. if you tell me, there are fossils in the ground. Then I'm like, well, I don't care. Fossils. You're not answering my question. No it's one tells vacuous. me. No, no. The things which we have not, co- the things which no human has ever experienced, right? Cannot be said to be there because none of us would possibly know that. It's I there. do not give a shit if it can be said to be there. That is not answering my question. You're asking the questions that are completely illogical. Even if, if you, you say so, out, right? if you wrote this if out, you say so. You know the first, okay, you really wrote this out. Check this out. If you wrote this out, right? You know that there are fossils in the ground. Nobody knows there are fossils in the ground. Okay. Do you know if that you there are fossils so. in the ground? If you say so. I don't know. It depends on your first or your second line. No, it doesn't. Because I'm not predicating the... the what if someone is no oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I think that that's incoherent. I think it's absurd. Dude, it, you're but... logically incoherent. Like, try writing that Wait, out as an argument. It is, abs- it is absurd to suppose that the existence of something is predicated on your knowledge of it. No, no, no. Your capacity to know of it is I don't predicated on whether you've experienced that. it. That isn't what I asked you. That is completely vacuous. You're, you're Say asking it again. questions. Listen to me. Say it again, and it's a fallacy of repetition. I've told you. I three don't time, care. No, three no, times. Insync. Three times keep... I asked the question. I asked the question. I get to set the criteria for the response. You did not answer my question. Oh, wait. I can set the criteria for responses? No, awesome! I'm using do. this. I, I will use this against I you. I do. I said I do. I no, said, why? Why can't I set criteria for? Um, if you responses? if you ask the question, you're allowed to. Okay, so if I ask questions, henceforth I can set criteria for responses, and obviously. then I can tell obviously. tell you that your response isn't sufficient. Yes, obviously. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. It'll be very Duh, useful. That's that's how we evaluate each other's conclusions, dude. Um, no, I, I really, I, I'll tell you that personally, I don't set hard criteria on responses. Well, I, I think that's probably criteria. one of the reasons that you have and the reasons that you end up making a little bit of nonsense when you speak. I, I don't know about nonsense, buddy. Well, Wait, do you either I mean, have good or bad? I mean, like, certainly something has to be... Yeah, they're, they're better and like, worse responses, a, but, like, I wouldn't be, like... In there I, look, I never say something along the lines of "you didn't say what I wanted you to say." What I wanted you to say, right? I, I don't have that. expectations on the response. No, no, I know, I know, he's not saying that, but I am. Yeah. That's something I resent, right? And I'm telling you, I'm giving you a response that you don't want to hear, and you get to choose how you respond to that. A, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you the blunt, it. I'm telling you the blunt reality. No. If if you say that no one knows something, no one knows something. And what you're that. doing is you're just cheating your way around that the language here. Vacuous. No, you're that cheating the language. Listen to me. That is completely vacuous. You're just what? gaming the language. No, this is so frustrating. To listen to me. Ready? All I'm saying is this. I asked you a question, right? Yes, Wait and you're asking me what is completely so I'm not done speaking, right? I asked, you, <coughs> I asked you a question, right? And... I am the evaluator of whether or not your answer explains to me what I hoped to understand. If I don't finish the conversation understanding, right, then you didn't answer my question properly or I didn't understand what you said. But if you repeat yourself three or four times and I repeatedly tell you that the problem is you're not even addressing my question and you insist on your answer, at some point you are just making an error. Well, I'm making the error of insanity, just basic insanity, doing the same thing again and expecting different results. But that's no, my but, problem. It's fine. The, I admit to be... I, the error, the error is that I told you you weren't answering my question. And I, you were I don't care. Insa- yeah, no, I accept the charge You're of insanity. Me. I am. <laughs> I accept the charge of insanity to do the same thing and expect different results. Fine. How about okay? uh, but, in sync? Will you at least concede that you so did not accurately describe what color is? Mapped. You said concepts can be mapped. I didn't. I never said that it was purely used words related to the to way like like put together things. I said it corresponds to like actually tell other people right. stuff. The way it, that it's the, the reflection is... though. It's not the fucking. That's the thing. Yeah, because that's a presum- property. That... Presumably, you mean the refraction as it passes through your pupil. No. Re- no. Re- reflection. That's, that's the method of absorption. Reflection sure. off. 
The object. Okay, so yeah, so the, what does the object reflect? Because like that's indicative of a lot of different. No, things. I understand that, but the way that you perceive color is not based on the fact that the it bounced off the fucking object. It's based on the fact that it hits your eye. It has to well, bounce off the object to hit your eye. But that's irrelevant. Yeah. It hits your eye. What? Wait, how the fuck are you saying it's irrelevant when you have to have the eye to see the fucking uh, bounce back off the Because the p that's why it's irrelevant that it bounces in, in off sync. the object. In sync. If no, light, okay. if no light hits your object, you will not actually perceive color yeah, from that object. you won't see any color. You'll just see black. Yeah, you, you won't no perceive color. no light will bounce back. <laughs> like, um... Like, matter is viewed reflectively. Yeah, it's all we've got, right? There are objects that don't emit light. There are objects that suck in light, and they don't have a color. It's very hard to talk about the color of a black hole, because it just doesn't emit light in the first place. Um, Brody, to be dead via the instinct, some objects actually emit. Yeah, you have radiation, and then you have reflectance. Also a few other processes. So like my light bulb just straight up emits light. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, because it has heat. Yeah, exactly. Black body radiation. I detect fellow science. Of course, you're a chemist. At least by, like, <laughs> early training. I like science people. They're good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not just light hitting the eye. There's so much more to the process. Um, yeah. Just gotta take the blood pressure pills. But the eye is processing what uh, mm. what is coming from. It is. It's like a, a variety of sources. You know, I think I think the way I do my realism is in a really strange way. I, I think it's inspired by me dabbling in photography. I think of our eyes like a camera. Are now, you are you literally saying that reality exists but human senses are fallible? I know, right? Isn't that incredible? Yeah, no, but that's <laughs> but you can still have that under like. Dude, that's still. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, I mean, I still think that midnight. And I still not just um, not just questions. not just fallible. A little bit more. I think the eye is transformative. So, um, it not like it's not just a mistake of like simple fallibility. I think something bad happened to Insync. By the way, I don't know if anyone caught it, but through someone's microphone, there was background screaming. Um. <laughs> I okay. think Insync got too loud. I think someone got mad at him where he is living. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He'll, he'll be okay. He and yeah. me have these tiffs. Why does he get so angry at you? Uh, he and me have like the worst, the best arguments, actually. It's right. just a healthy argument. Insync will be back momentarily. Okay. But yeah. I am correct. There was a noise from Insync's background. I, I didn't presence. hear it, but I. No, no, presence mm -hmm. is gone as well. <laughs> I heard uh, it. I, I'm very. But you're the it. only eyewitness among all of us. If you want us to take okay. your testimony, sir. <laughs> no, I uh, will. I I'm quite happy to wait for Instinct to return and explain, and then we will yeah. verify. That's, what delay, um, that's the delay of my course. I can't have I, that. I'm, in my own view, I, I think of um, eyes like cameras, and eyes cameras transform the information just a little, right? It's not. It's not really one to one. People imagine. Yeah. That. And what, what, but we know that. Yeah, it's transformative. It's like a. Uh, it's like when you draw a schematic of something. It's kind of what we. Yeah, do. it's not, but it, yeah. it's a, but it's a it's very a map. good interpretation. Yeah, there's, yeah. and this is what I said before. We have our internal map of reality versus what reality mm. actually is, yeah. and in some ways, it, and but we should strive to match it as closely as possible. And yeah. obviously, we we know it's fallible, but that's not really that's not i mean you could argue indirect realism but uh, some people can still argue direct realism or just whatever normal realism with that kind of thing as well right like, so. apologies some technical difficulties yeah there was okay. so in sync was that wrong it's something went on in your background no you're correct. hey what a <laughs> yeah so what what was that loud screaming noise i heard in your background that was my dad who has a temper tantrum every yeah time i was right see on. see Is hold it right in your family <laughs> So I, w I would like it confirmed that I am more observant. I would have to say, as the judge, I really need favor. Astute oh, observation. Fine. Um, um, anyway. I, I, ca I catch little things. I'm like, mm, I'm pretty sure someone's mad at Insync right now. <laughs> I, 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 like, I'm confused about what exactly the contention with what I said was. So I said it was to do with the wavelength of the light. I didn't say it was to do with the wavelength of the light when it was emitted. I meant it was to do with the wavelength of the light when it hit your eye. 
Which I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty, bro. I mean, whatever, tell yourself whatever. You I think, think, but that's what I meant, though. I didn't. I'm not retroactively redefining what I said. I mean, that's not even that true either, right? Like, I mean, do you think it is? I, did, because, I don't think it's solely determined by that. It does include that information. That's part because, of... Um, take, take me and Brody, or better yet, my favorite people, Quadranopians. I, I said it's part of color. If you're going to say people yeah. perceive color differently... <laughs> no, no, if it's you're, not... If you're, gonna, if you're gonna say the fact that people can perceive color differently, even the same wavelength, I'm just not interested in that argument. Yeah, Why? but I feel like you just chop off important parts Wait. of arguments when they... In- I've heard that before. It's not convincing. You're not going to persuade me by saying it. I don't look. Actually, debates are not necessarily to convince you there sure, before the audience. Okay, well, look, say it again. But I'm not interested. Wait. I, <laughs> I was gonna say right. The same wavelength hits my eyes and other altered vision states, and we perceive very different colors of the world, right? So it can't be really the case that the wavelength holds the color. I there's I a little bit more to it. I never said it, it did. There's a well, yeah, this, this is just but... assuming you're assigning I actually a literally never value. said that it did. All and I said was that there is a connection, which you just admitted there is. A, a connection is such a hazy no, and useless statement, That though. is all I said, though. And that's m- <laughs> less hazy and useless than the vacuous thing that was being thrown at me before, dude. <laughs> I mean, yes, there's a con- wait. You can perceive colors not related to any wavelength hitting your eye. Sure. Noise. So what's happened there? Of course, that's your brain interpreting what it thinks is the information about. So oh, that's 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 like whether I'm gonna pair like a bassoon with an oboe or a flute. That color can exist in many different areas. If you're gonna yeah, it. synesthetics. Yeah, they- synesthesia. Yeah. Sure. No, but again, that's your brain thinking it's perceiving a wavelength of light. I mean, isn't it always doing that though? Like whether you're perceiving right. light or not? No, Wait. not mis- no, th- I'm saying it's misappropriating stimulus into into right. thinking that it's light when it's not. You can't misappropriate something into doing something. No, you your brain can abs- absolutely mischaracterize things and put them into the wrong boxes. Your brain conjectures the experience you have. One thing that your brain does that we know, for instance, is it shuffles stimulus around to make it more sensible. Right? We've done testing to do with timing between sound and light, and your brain will mm-hmm. line up signals that it thinks okay. are connected, even if they're not temporally so, uh, concurrent. So what I'm getting at isn't to do with this exactly. I'm just saying that the perception of color isn't one-to-one with the wavelength that strikes the back of the eye. Sometimes no wavelength I, strikes I, the back I of the eye. I never made a claim of that sort. However, these are colors that are perceived and are real to the person. Yes, if you ask a synesthetic, never... wait, if you ask a synesthetic, there is a, ver- there is a fairly robust connection between sounds and colors. Right? Why them, do I constantly feel like you talk past the things I say to you? I just think you, you ignore things that are inconvenient. Then that's why it feels like I'm talking past that. you. When I say I accept that point, right? I guess what I'm saying to you is I don't see how that contributes to your conclusion. You seem to think you're saying something that should be persuasive, but there's no connection between the truth of that statement and the conclusion that you're putting forward. What, what's uh, the conclusion the, you think I'm putting the, forward? The conclusion was that what I said about color was wrong, but actually you've admitted it wasn't because you keep strawmanning my position. No, it's wait, a, I've already... A, uh, you've repeatedly tried to say, right, it's not the only thing, but no... I've thing. made it clear by yes, now but, to anyone that... Wait, Nobody, stop. I Your strawmans are fast. I, I, was, I wasn't done, right? I don't care if you're done. All right, so you're just going to talk over me. Yes. Right. Now. Why are you going to let now, Mike, your representation is really cute, but remember my original point and the conclusion sure, which you sure. clearly outlined on mm-hmm. everyone, right? I'm saying that the perception of color just isn't tied to the frequency of light. That, uh, like, I mean, it often is, oh, but not, but not always. Wait, not always, and there's enough variation okay. here to know that color isn't as simple as the frequency it hits I back never said light. It was. It's a far more complex So do you understand when I say I never said that, right? more complex that phenomenon so of human experience, right? That it would be 
It's asinine, reductive every, every to say that it's time. just like it hits the backyard. I never said the word just. You have repeatedly. Of course. In sync. But in in sync. Sync. Don't repeatedly yell. Your dad will yell at you again. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> right? uh, you, repeated, you repeatedly sure. straw man me by implying that my position is that it is just this, mostly this, purely this. I never said anything of the sort. Yeah, you have repeatedly just... implied that the position you're taking is contrary to mine, as if I said things that disagree with the arguments you're making. I never said anything that disagreed with it. You're strawmanning me in an attempt to grandstand on you being right about something that I never actually said. You're trying to make the point that color's Did based on something <laughs> objective, right? And I'm challenging the view that you can tie it to anything because every time you try, they won't it won't work out. So but you're tying it to a neurology, which presumably is objective. Hmm? I'm saying you can't tie color to But you just tied it to anything. neurology. No, don't worry about what I'm tying it out. I'm proving the The point is that you're saying it can be tied, I'm objecting to it, right? That's no, well. you just actually objected to your own objection when you say it's tied to neurology. You're appealing to it being tied to objective factors again. I'm saying the cut perception of color is not tied to any specific feature of the external world in a reliable manner. Like not That's in the, just, that is not, to the not to the degree in which we could say no, not to the degree to which we could make a philosophical commitment to the idea that it is tied specifically to wavelengths. Not at all. I, you, I can make, you can make I, them much softer and you can make the much softer and kind of useless point that it's related, connected. I did. These, I are, hedge, these, are, these are hedgy words as hell. I said, like we just no, I hedged said the debate to them. Yeah, sure. And I can I can hedge the shit out of my claims. I don't claims. care I just if you think that was fucking nebulous. I don't care. The point is, what I said wasn't wrong. And it's not right either. So, I mean, choose where you are, but it ain't I mean, right either. Is, no, but the point is, you're arguing against the position I never took in an attempt... You didn't take any position it. in the first place, Insync. That's not true. So, I did yes, you're position. right. You won. You, you, you didn't take a position in the first you place. You can Congrats. Say my, you can say my position was weak, but honestly... You didn't any, take a position. You made anyone, it just very clear well, that then you what made have, a Okay, so then, so then what have you been arguing the against? The debate. What have you been arguing against? I Actually... As you've I, no, listen, listen, if I as you've position, indicated, sure. as you've indicated, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm arguing against because honestly, your point, as you put it, is so nebulous uh -huh. that it's going to be defended by nearly every statement I make. Excellent. Okay, so we agree then that you strawmanned me that if I never made a statement, if I never took a position, misunderstood. Then listen, no, yeah. then, well, I mean, you can say you misunderstood, but I think you probably. Misrepresented no, me intentionally a little bit at least. Nah, I misunderstood. I'm not as smart as you give me. I mean, I don't know. Some of the things oh, you say are pretty least. condescending and subversive. It gives me no, the impression nah. that you know what you're doing. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You're giving you me way too that. much credit. You can say that. It's very convenient that you have no idea what you're doing. Dude, you think I'm wrong lots of the time. Why, why is that yes. like a random feature? No, and sometimes I think that the what, reason is it that convenient for you to believe that I'm not not wrong this time, or yeah, you got me. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Anyhow, when it comes to like the way I got here is to say that, like, when it comes to color, like when it comes to color, my my point on color, right? I remember this. When it comes to redness, redness specifically, right? I'm trying to tie it down a bit. We don't get what redness means until we've seen a couple of red objects. When we say redness, we're referring to that perception yep. thing, right? Sure. That's what we're doing. Yeah, but do you understand why I used color instead of redness? No, I'm using redness. Do you know why no, I'm using I, redness no, no, instead no, of color? I do. I know why you're using redness instead of color. Why? You said, you said that I should think of you as Aristotelian in not believing in categories, right? But I do believe in categories, which is, as we said, a fundamental distinction. I know. Right? I do believe in categories. Look, Aristotle just... I mean, I'm not... I'm Aristotelian. I'm not Aristotle. I hate so you, so you like, believe in the platonic reality shit. of categories? No. Yes. I don't believe that a category... Like, I don't... Okay, there's a couple of interconnected beliefs that I don't accept, right? So I'm saying that you learn of a category from experiences with individuals that hold these kind of salient properties like, like i know of redness because i've seen red apples and red cars and red things like i've seen a bunch of red things i'm like hey there you have this feature they all share yeah, and then i have the category right the category is a mental the, 
I, because the category, right, relies on a commonality between the things which cannot be based in your mind. What? The c- categories being useful, separating things usefully, relies on them okay. corresponding to properties that the objects actually have. Um, again, I'm a realist. The apple has a... That. Wait, hang on. The apple has a certain skin on it that in a lot of daylight reflects off a certain wavelength that I and only... I, I can't say all human students, just me, me and many other people perceive that to be this thing that I was taught was called red. Sure. Right? Like so, I was but- in kindergarten and they're like, red, the apples are red and so are these things, right? Sure. I was literally shown a group of things and I was told that that's what you call it. You call sure, it red. But- Yes, but you don't think the notion of color exists mm-hmm. independently of minds who can perceive color. That's correct, right? Yes, the notion of color doesn't exist independently of the okay, the so, feature, so, right? The feature, Mike, but not the notion. Uh, okay, well, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean the feature, right? Well, when I say independent, yeah, and the feature of here is perception. Yeah, the feature here is the reflectance of apple skin, right? It's not sure. color. It's not redness. Right? It's reflectance. No, but color corresponds to reflectness or reflectiveness um, or whatever. In me and in me, I assume I'm not a solipsis, so I assume other people exist. I assume a whole bunch of things. And sure. at, the of, at the end chain of that, a whole series of massive that are really extraordinary and uh, borderline anti philosophical. I the then conclude. In reflectivity I then. The principle. What? Does the category of. Like reflectivity exists in the world without subjects. Reflectivity is not a category. It's well, a property. Okay, but, it's a property. But, 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 <laughs> yes, but if property, God damn it, if properties can be held in common among objects, right? Then that property is part of a type of property that we call a category. I mean, it's continuously variable. No, property but, like it doesn't it's have not, it's not variable in the sense that it's never not the reflectivity of skin no i mean to say that every, virtually all objects have a reflectivity right and that yeah, value so... ranges from one to zero and you can okay. talk about reflectivity at different spectrum so then it sounds like you're saying the category actually exists there's not it's not a category it's a feature it's like it's like okay it's like telling Think of reflectivity as length. Uh, no, right? listen. There are I, no I think, categories of length. I think not really. types, types of features are categories. I think that if you say that there is certain features in the world that objects have that can be used to distinguish them from one another, you're saying categories exist. Okay, all objects. Okay, let me put this way then. All objects have a reflectance value. Yeah. All. That there are yes. no non reflecting objects. It's just that some, well, I mean, when you say non-reflectant, then you just say it has a value of zero, right? It, it's just a value. It's like length, right? So sure. there, there are no like non-length items to talk yes. of. They and as really... far as I'm concerned, you're affirming platonic categories. These aren't categories, though. Like, is a length, is length a category? No, yes. it's a system of measurement. But if you... it's, a, it's a category of measurement. Length and height you were, are different I mean, you're types of measurement. Categories, I guess. That is I mean, what philosophy height. is about. That specifically, oh. height is height is length in a different plane. Yes, Access but the difference the difference in plane is what makes them different types. They're all lengths. Yes, but they are different types of length. For fuck's sake, Wait. they're lengths in different. I axes. don't care. They're different categories of length. They are different. Yes, they are different, but they're different. Yeah. They're different in a particular way. Yeah, in that yeah, as, as far as I'm concerned, this constitutes your affirmation of platonic categories. I'm affirming platonic categories when I say that lengths can happen in different axes. No, when you say that length. Well, what's a, a what's a platonic reality? Exists. What's a platonic reality to you? Well, you just gave an example of one length. No, no. What is it? What do you mean? What is a platonic reality? There's no, I mean, there are no, uh, like, instances of a platonic reality. There's the platonic reality. Uh, which give is me an example existence. of what you mean. Sorry, no, not an example. It's, it's the what abstract you, realm. The, the abstract, abstract realm. realm. Yes. Where is it? What is it? Like, it's, where, it's, what, properties? It's, I mean, it, it's not anywhere. It transcends space. It is like the realm it's of like logic. Ne- okay, see, this is an issue for me 
in that nothing transcends space and time? That's just incorrect. Wow. Uh, love. Oh, yeah, that's true. Love does transcend space and time. That, I, yeah, you, you win. Damn it. Love is pretty powerful. I will admit this. One of the most powerful forces. That. You should tell her for me. And we'd both get a beating. That wouldn't be fun. I don't know. I mean, she, it might make her really happy. No, it really wouldn't. H how do you know? She's pretty lonely lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you... Now, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Okay. Uh... Hey, NSYNC, what, what are... Pardon? I didn't hear you, buddy. You have the bit rate or file form. Bit rate or file size is what you asked. Something, something. No, about... File format. Okay. Of what? Of the recording files. Oh, um, I'll, like, I'll, I'll DM you about it. You can get them All in right. a variety of different formats. I mean, if you can give me FLA, like, give me five. No, I can, I can give you a link to it where you can get the. Um, cool. Does the, FLA yeah. see? I think, I don't know if it's got that specifically. It's got shitloads of stuff. Yeah, it does. All right. Yeah, I just checked it does. And Minecraft and debate. Good fun. I'm just setting up my fucking workstation. I have the most badass nuclear reactor. This is the one time I can build nuclear reactors and not get arrested. Straight to jail. I know, right? It's so much fun. If I could build a nuclear reactor, I would. Really would. I can't. I'm gated by my lack of knowledge. <laughs> Alright, remove the bus. Too much fucking water and resources. I mean, they're really the cool. <laughs> Alright, any contradictory evidence to an inductive argument is right. sufficient grounds to doubt the validity of the inducti okay. inductive Insane. argument because an inductive argument deals with a general rule and general rules should not have exceptions. Right, okay. Now, I, this is why I asked you about the premise. What was the premise again? The premise was that we haven't yet seen evidence of this thing. Yes. What was the conclusion? The conclusion was that we should assume that it's not going to happen. I mean... So you're saying then, that not yeah. that Socratic reasoning isn't effective. You're saying most people do not know how to use the Socratic method properly. Is that what you're saying? Okay, how would you... Okay, I, I think I, you described the Socratic method, and I agreed with that. I mm -hmm. agree with it, and um, but I don't think that it is most of the time it's not used that way. It's just um, not, so, it's but, not but, but yes. on the wage gap. I think that it's possible there is a gap. With that being said, though, I don't think the gap is as big as people make it out to be, and I, I'm not totally convinced that it's due to discrimination if there is a gap at all. Okay. Um. Do you think that the gap was caused because of the fact that the United States and Canada did not have laws protecting, making it so that women could have, like, or forcing uh, employers to pay women the exact amount as men until the 